Research started in Mexico City by gathering data from specimens held at the National Herbarium. Other botanical collections were later surveyed and some 2,500 specimens were examined. The data was then logged onto Brahms, a botanical database. Some species, such as Lucina salvadorensis, were found to be geographically restricted, easily distinguished and fairly uniform. Others, such as Lucina diversifolia, with an extensive distribution throughout the highlands of Mexico and Central America, are much more widespread and are also very variable. Flower morphology and colour vary across the Lucina diversifolia complex, providing a good example of the sort of problems involved in delimitation of species. Armed with detailed herbarium information, field investigation and collection of botanical material throughout the range of Lucina has been undertaken. Over 500 botanical specimens have been collected to resolve species names. Several new species, such as this undescribed species from the mountains of Sonora in northern Mexico, have so far been discovered. Botanical material requires careful examination and analysis. Considerable progress has been made towards a taxonomic revision for the genus and work is in progress at the Oxford Forestry Institute and elsewhere to continue and complete this. So what about these closely related species and their potential? Colin explains. Lucina species vary in size and form. Some, such as Lucina gregii, are small trees. Others, such as Lucina salvadorensis, form medium-sized trees to 20 metres in height and 70 centimetres in stem diameter. The total distribution of the genus throughout Central America and Mexico spans some 40 degrees of latitude and 2,500 metres in altitude, covering a wide range of environmental conditions. Several species even show cold or frost tolerance. The main diversity occurs in seasonally dry, tropical environments, and some species such as Lucina esculenta, subspecies Metudae, which grows in the semi-arid valleys of Guerrero in Mexico, tolerate low rainfall with up to seven-month dry seasons. Others, such as Lucina pulverulenta and Lucina multicapitula, grow in humid tropical conditions and tolerate more acid soils with higher non-seasonal rainfall. These few examples show the clear potential to extend Lucina planting beyond the limits for Lucina leucocephala. Trials in Hawaii and elsewhere indicate good tolerance to psyllid attack in certain species, such as Lucina esculenta and Lucina collinsii. Product quality also varies across the species. Several species quickly produce high-density, durable wood and are widely used for construction. In Mexico, the widespread inclusion and protection of Lucina trees in traditional agroforestry systems is further indication of the very great potential of many lesser known species in the genus. In order to evaluate and utilize this untapped potential, new seed collections have been assembled by the Oxford Forestry Institute in close collaboration with the national tree seed banks throughout the region. It's taken several years to assemble and document comprehensive seed collections from throughout Latin America. As well as including all the species, seed has been collected from several provenances within species, with a minimum of 30 trees in each provenance in order to maintain a broad genetic base. Seed collections have been carried out from Texas in the USA, south through Mexico and Central America, to Ecuador in South America, forming a sound base for evaluation, future seed production and tree improvement. The true potential of this new germplasm can only be evaluated in replicated field trials on a range of sites. In Honduras, a prototype trial has been established using this new material by the Forest Genetic Resources Project, CONCEFOR. Destructive wood biomass assessments of this trial indicate that several little-known species, such as Lucina macrophylla, perform as well or better than Lucina leucocephala. These species have the potential to be used in agroforestry, either directly or through interspecific hybridization. Planting of non-industrial trees in the tropics is in its infancy. Much remains to be learned about choice of species and use of appropriate seed sources.
while plantations grown for industrial uses select uniform genetic material and can afford the associated risks, it's wrong to expect that a few uniform, high-yielding varieties will adequately meet the complex needs of subsistence farmers. Risk reduction, product quality and timing of production are crucial factors and call for the use of diverse genetic material. It's in this area that lesser-known species of Lucina offer considerable untapped potential to enhance tropical tree planting. The wise use of new Lucina species and seed collections will be needed to secure sustainable benefits and finally banish the myth of miracle trees forever.